Hello everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to some more Gatekeeper. Today we're trying out the Pandora character for the first time. I have no idea what her abilities do, but we're going to find out today. Um, she looked kind of like a mage type stuff based on her icons, but I could be entirely wrong. Let's see. We have a uh, little, little tiny blast. We have right mouse, which is big. Uh, she's Lux. We have dash plus... Um, healing aura and we have f which is big nuke uh so this does oh it's a slow and it deals 400 percent damage per second for five seconds seems good this is a heal healing dash emission that's a interesting word to use for <laughs> for an attack this 500 percent damage and then concentrated light projectiles okay cool Let's do well, this is a nice thing to start with. Let's take fireballs. Fireballs to go with our emission. Fantastic. Fireball emission. Wait. OK, what's with the, the range on emission here? Also, can I just. Wow. OK, that ability seems. Kind of ridiculous. <laughs> So this is the support caster character, I'm guessing. What? Oh, the eyeball is looking at me. I don't know how I feel about it. That ability seems crazy. So on this run, I think our goal is to try and find, you know, try and go past the desert area to unlock the next character. I, uh, Assume that's what we have to do. I don't actually know. Then find find the Dawnbreaker. I think was the next one, which I don't know. It would make sense to me that that's next. Damage is is a lot. Let's see, um, big HP regen. Oh, we only have 100 base HP. I just realized that's not very good. Also, our auto attack does very little damage. So I guess we're going to want cooldown. I know we did cooldown yesterday, but like... <laughs> this seems like a cooldown character. Maybe... Maybe her upgrades lead to more being... Uh, for her basic attack being better. I don't know. I'll have to look. Which I will do once these enemies are dead. I still think this first area just takes too long. Like, there's too many enemies. Cut the enemies in half and have them give double XP. There's not really much fun about, like, tediously going through these guys here. I take cooldown all right let's look so we get damage from projectiles 50 percent every third attack releases two and if anybody has less than 25 there's a five percent chance for it to instantly kill uh that seems not great 50 percent bigger guaranteed stun two charges okay 50 percent bigger seems good area duration three bigger radius enemies inside take 30 percent more damage that's pretty substantial and this one increase the radius by 30 percent receive elemental bonuses additionally 15 percent two elemental bonuses duration okay well that's that appears to be the best one <laughs> unsurprisingly uh we're going up here because i assume there's probably gonna be a thing up here yep who could have thunk it See, this is one of those things that if this game wasn't early access, I would not be very happy with. Like, if they were done with updating it, I'd be like, why? Why do I have to run all the way up there? To come back to teleport out of the level all the way down here. Like, what? what is what is the point of this? Please don't waste my time. Thankfully, after we get out of this first act, I do tend to have a lot of fun with this game. So, where I'm at right now. Give me something good. 
Um, yeah, I'll take second wind. I'm going to get all the collectibles here first. All, all the artifacts. Protocol, that's probably decent. We attack somewhat quickly with our first skill. Obviously, that's important. We want as many of those as we can get. Oh, I guess we are going to want to take base health up to to make that better because our base health is so low. And we're just going to drop a bunch of uh, a bunch of lightning fields. It'd be cool. Well, I'd say it'd be cool if there's an artifact to like reset your skills, but I imagine there probably is, and I just haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna dump that right there. It feels like this character's gonna be really good against like bosses and stuff with. Just the giant burst damage and then an insane AoE spell that also slows. I think base health. <laughs> Can't help but that notice that only increased it by 20. So if if that only increased our base health by 20%, that means that it does not actually scale off the item that we picked up. So it's only ever going to increase it by 20, and the other items only ever going to increase it by 35, which is significantly worse than um, if our base health was higher. Well, in the long term. It, uh, it's just something to think about. How things interact. Just drop this here and just keep I'm glad you don't I'm glad that you do not move slower while you're attacking in the game I think that would be annoying some games I think it's appropriate this one I think it would just kind of lame gonna keep dropping the Drop an electric field and healing field and uh, just generally fields and blasts and everything. I do also think that the the upgrades to the powers could be a little flashier. In some cases, I think in some cases they're really good. I think in other cases they're like a little underwhelming. Uh, I think base damage, I guess, right there. Like, why is the final upgrade for the basic attack a 5% chance to kill something that's under 25%? That's some Diablo 4 bullshit stat that I'm not a fan of at all. <laughs> like, conditional, conditional stuff, not great, especially when it's like a super low rate. If it was like 50% chance on a hit to destroy something under 25%, okay, I can... I think I could get behind that. But tw but 5%? 5%? I'm also assuming that it doesn't work on the essence. Also assuming it doesn't work on bosses. Which if it does, then maybe it's a little better than I'm giving it credit for, but still. All right, we do want as many of those as we can get. Close that, open this up. Well, I mean, Luminary is really good. Maybe we're supposed to take this, this one first and then go with the lightning stuff. Like everything after that one's kind of terrible. Yeah, everything after that's pretty Unexcited. I mean, I guess 
every third attack firing two, if you jack up your attack speed, would be okay. Maybe it's just the third one I have a problem with. Kill them all, huh? Well, you see, to do that, I would have to see some of them. Oh. They were following me. How awkward. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know. Can you guys just all stand in the circle, please? Thank you. It's doing 69 damage. Nice. Yeah, some bonus attack speed. Might not be too bad. Take HP regen, though. Even though we have some on our dash, it's not, um... It's not enough that it's gonna make me go like, oh, we don't need HP regen from any other source. I don't think that's... That's a thing. I think it's just nice having it at the gate instead of having to spend, um... Our precious, precious, uh, skill level ups on it. Yeah, I would definitely cut the cut the number of enemies you have to fight in these areas down just a little bit. My first thought. Um base damage, I guess. We're no longer hitting for 69, which is sad, but you do what you gotta do. Boss time. It is the prince. Though he was never promised. He just showed up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> seems... Seems fine. Not like we're doing particularly a ton of damage or anything. I mean, how could we? We haven't really picked up anything either. But, like... Um, I think some attack speed. As great as cooldown reduction is, and it is great. 5% is a pretty low number. Keep on keeping on. My allergies are crazy right now. I don't know what happened. Let's go out of the shower. Should be fine. I mean, I hurt my leg, but that's just like a that's like an over 30 sort of deal. Like you just casually are walking and then all of a sudden now, ow, ow, everything hurts. I want all of these. What is this bullshit? Um, take two HP. We'll take plus two HP regen. The attitude field. Interesting. What awaits us in the attitude fields? Will it be the juju? Will it be the, uh, oops, I just, there. I'll take HBC. Will it be the dawn? All the enemies up. Third skill gains an additional charge of use. Yes, I would like an extra dash. That is a fantastic, <laughs> that is a fantastic thing. That is one of the skills I have unlocked since the last video. And honestly, 
That's a massive quality of life upgrade. Or one of the potential artifacts, I guess I should say. It's weird how this game doesn't really have any power progression. All right, every third attack releases two projectiles. I guess we're doing that. We're just going to see how this goes. Hopefully that means that that third attack has a chance to trigger all of our on attack stuff twice. That's the only reason I'm taking it is under that assumption. If that's not the case, then it kind of sucks. OK, Bane Seal. It's going to drop that off right there. They are camping the thing. Incredibly rude. The music, I think the music's what's keeping me here in this game, though. This, like, whatever genre you would call it music. Like, some type of techno, I guess. I don't know. It's perfect for this type of game. But I would say. Damage. All right. Um, I guess we take attack speed. We take attack speed, fire basic attacks faster, then we can get more stuff that triggers off of that. OK, I mean. The plan. We also get we also have our ult that slows things down and does a decent amount of damage and we have our right click which is uh, okay i think this build's gonna be more about what items i get than anything Because again, we're not going to want to take the third upgrade of our basic attack. That's we're done with that now. Unfortunately. Uh, bad moods actually pretty great. Extra damage at close range. Very little downside here. A forge. 25% the damage. Oh. Well. What? Why don't. Hold up. Hold up. Where? I'm gonna come back to that. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna invest a lot into that one. Uh, if that's the case, give me attack speed. Okay. Wait a second. We're about to do a thing. Like, isn't that the best upgrade? Is there a world where that's not the best upgrade? Okay, you can do whatever you want, guy. Let's take this. Duo. Um sure whatever i'm probably just gonna sell it if i'm being honest duo for 20 to get 50 percent damage is it all damage or just damage we i mean i don't think it matters right like what? 25% per stack? Why, do, why don't I get rid of that? I guess we want to keep one HVC and get rid of Eternal Heart. We don't need that. Um, I guess we get rid of Protocol. We want to make as many of these as we can. I, we want to keep Vertical or Vertebral Implant. Fireball? Fireball is probably worth it. Definitely want to keep 
essence. Although it is a hundred percent damage for selling it. You know what? No, just melt it. Just melt it. Why not? Um probably fine to keep the rest. Or we could sell that. Just take okay, sure. Can we see our stats here? Damage, 176. I wish I had looked at our damage before I did all of that. But, um... I don't know. Let's see if this strategy works. I suspect that that was a good thing I just did. Argument. Deal 20% damage per stack every two seconds. Okay. On hitting with the first skill, that seems good. Project about 2.0, protocol 2.0 or whatever. Cell of the Ancients. Anyone else ever get like traumatized by a movie that's so with Jennifer Lopez? Like creepy shit that 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 it was. Oh, huh. okay. Well now it's like duo. Look at all this stuff. Redstone on hit has a 5% chance to inflict splitting. I don't know what that does. I'm gonna take it, but. Oh damage? Hello. I'm gonna take bad move. Did we win? I mean, look, we, we don't have a lot of HP right now, right? Like, we're still a little fragile, but, um... Our... Let's do 1500. That doesn't seem balanced. That, like, if you just find a forge of that item, do you just win? Is that, so I should just take, all right, attack speed, sure. I'm going to say, I should just take HP wherever I can find it now. Because realistically, we should have enough damage to handle everything. It's so, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. What what is this? This is yeah. No, I don't I don't care about that. Honestly, I think I misplayed that. I think what I was supposed to do, seeing what happened, is actually just sell everything I had and put it into that item. Like every, literally everything I had. Based on what I'm seeing now, it 100% seems like that was the thing to do. I'm gonna drop this lightning field on you. It's gonna do a little bit of damage. Oh, you teleported, you rude. So rude. Oh, you're dead now. Yeah, 100% should have done that. But you live, you learn, you laugh, you learn. You lie, you learn. <laughs> How it goes. All right, uh, what are we getting from our evolutions here? Bridge of the Damned in literal hell. I'm going to take uh, HP regen. Do we want to take a mission now? I think I kind of do. Wait, hold up. Guaranteed to stun additional charge. I think I think we're I think we're on the emission plan. That's a pretty big area.
Things change so much. Uh, crit chance. Ow. Okay, we definitely need to take max HP. Where we can get it. Fireballs, no. Duo, yes. Max HP. 10% to Bane on hitting an enemy with full health. Yeah. We do enough damage that that's actually probably decent. Take the Jade for HP regen. To stack it with our natural HP regen. And then, uh, you know. Max HP. Hopefully we just survive. Even though our HP situation is pretty bad. Your third skill gains an additional charge. Skill hits deal extra 50% damage per stack damage within a radius of five. Um, that's powerful for sure. Like, that's definitely very, very good, right? But at the same time, having a third dash when dash also heals is probably too valuable to pass up. Uh, max health, please. Thank you. I was just thinking there weren't enough pillars of light in this circle. I was really just thinking that, and then the game was like, hey, would you like some pillars of light? And I was like, yes, thank you. Please give me your pillars of light. I will gladly accept them on my face. All over my face. Unbelievable. Always fire puddles and pillars of light. Oh, look, a rampant. I just drop my drop my thing there. Ah, I put my healing outside. Whoops. I wonder if what artifacts you find are seated in the run, or if it's like you can literally find any of the artifacts in a run. Um, max HP is good, and this could be bad, but we're going to click it because it could also be good. Critical damage heals for two and damage dealt, but attack, no. Okay. Double damage. Um, it's interesting. I'm probably going to forge it away, if we're being honest. But... But... We will have to get to the point where I can do so. We can take the HVAC. I realize it's not HVAC, but I'm just calling it that. Uh, I'll take Skirmish here. I'm gonna hit up all of these first. HP per second. And that's probably it for the level. I would imagine. Open the cell of the ancients. Release Jennifer Lopez from her tomb. Why is she in that new Netflix movie? It looks slightly interesting, except for the fact that Jennifer Lopez. And she's going to be talking to a robot. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. Okay, well, that curse may lose us the run. <laughs> going to be a dangerous level here. Let's 
Especially with the floating skulls of this area. And the problem is our F has a pretty long cast time. Definitely one of the weaknesses. On the other hand, our right click goes crazy. Take HP region. Um, where? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Uh, more HP regen, I guess. They only have 250 HP, which is not a lot. Activate the Quarium. Hmm. Where? Where do? Abode of Ashes. Oh, good. It's just, just what I was after. Fireballs. Oh, I don't. It's gonna sell. It's gonna sell that. Ten percent attack speed. Holy moly! Take that as a sign, kids. Pills are good for you. <laughs> oh, this channel is for adults. Oh, more pills. Fantastic. 25% max out, 15% to damage. That's incredible. Any more pills? All right, take essence. Honestly, at this point, just give me more pills. Oh, I don't love totem. Totems. Oh, oh, it's the healing one. How nice. They must have heard me complaining about all the light rays last time. You got all that sticky, sticky light all in my face, and I just like wasn't wasn't here for it. Got all over my glasses. Fiery impulse from the planet's orbit. Yep, that's that's about right. More more what I expect from the totem. Spawn a horde, huh? How appropriate. Seventy percent. Everyone takes more damage. Yeah, this is the thing I was scared about with double damage. Is when you have double damage plus that, I'm pretty sure that just means like you take a hundred thirty percent more damage, not more than that. But like, eh, <laughs> I don't feel too good about it. I don't feel too good about it at all. But wait. What what? Oh, the I was I saw the chat log and I was like, wait, how did three bosses just appear? No, I was just showing me the other bosses appeared before. Which I guess I knew because obvious reasons. Oh, we're smoking. Okay. Oh, I can stand right here. Oh no, I can't stand right there. Oh, I also haven't even looked at this character's passive. I have no idea what it is. Probably important. Probably something I should do. I think you can run from me. I think this is. All right, we got three levels. We have a passive to look at. <laughs> the Baron Bassin.
Primary attack projectiles have a 25 chance to bounce to a random enemy. Oh, well, that makes it a little bit better than I thought it was, huh? I still don't think Luminary is very good. Guaranteed to stun. Area duration, three seconds. Radius by 30. Additional charge. The only question of this, is this an additional charge that, like, recharges simultaneously, or is it, like, the other extra charges? Because, like, meanwhile, I could just take something like... Like, healing dash up. Seems better. Max HP... Probably time to take a little movement speed. The Bayonetta. Uh, Eternal Heart is fine. Bane Seal is also fine. Unexciting. I think Second Wind is decent. And then... But clout is it's the thing, it's the thing that exists. We are smoking these guys. Oh, yeah. Imagine if I had just sold all my stuff at the beginning to get more damage. I think that just would have been strictly better than what we're doing, but. It's fine. Maybe, maybe not everything. Maybe everything except the vertebrae for max HP. Although I do think there's an achievement for selling everything or like getting rid of all your stuff now. So I'd probably have to do that one run. There's also an achievement for like dying on the first level. So probably need to unlock that too. That. Character feels pretty strong. But again, I don't know how much of that is like the character or how much of that is me getting the forge with plus 25% damage. Like that's. That seems so crazy good. Activate the Quarium. Where is said Quarium? Oh, it's down, down below. Okay, um, now I take more health. When in doubt, more HP is generally not a bad idea. Generally. The Oasis. Forge. I don't know what splitting does. I don't know what splitting does. I don't think I want it. It costs 40. Uh, splitting must do something good. If it costs um that much, but like you would have to Tell me what it is. Is it just is it just killing an enemy? Is it cutting their HP in literal half? Like what am I working with? Um the second skill it's an extra charge. Okay. That is some free burst damage. And then we have, uh, let's take bad. Are there enemies on this map? Do, do enemies exist here? Oh, I know, I'm gonna take a drink of my water right, real quick. 
And I'm most assuredly going to get attacked by something by standing here. While I have one key and another key. No. No, it's just like this. Okay. <laughs> Time to go hunting, I guess. You're just chilling over here. Maybe an maybe like an enemy detector. That way you're not wandering around the whole map. In a situation like that. Also, do these guys just not want to fight? I don't know. I just EMP'd that dinosaur. Mecha Godzilla could never. Those guys kind of hurt. We had more HP. Being able to drop the lightning field is pretty powerful. And being able to drop a 2k nuke is also pretty strong, I guess, too. Oh, hey, Dino. What do we have left? Another Dino? Uh, not a Dino, exactly. Not a Dino. Are we going to the elevator? We skip the elevator. We are to the elevator. It's a B. It's a busy bee. Uh, second wind is just seemingly so good. Active when you need it. Take crit chance. Try to hit me while I'm shopping. Second skill gets a whole nother charge. That okay. The burst damage is really piling up now. I don't know how I feel about this one. I guess it's better to have one of the than two of the other. So even that is not necessarily accurate. Cyclone. Uh, the third skill creates a vortex at the point of application. The vortex pulls in enemies, stealing. Oh, I mean, I have to take this. Have to take that. Where? Okay. okay. I thought that's what it meant, but I wasn't sure. So we give him the old sucky sucky while we uh, dash away. I don't hate it. This is chaos. There's so much going on inside the circle. Oh good, a horde. A reinforced horde at that. Oh, ow. Ow. Well, at least we're healed. And our spells are mostly back. Mostly. Dangerous, dangerous totem, I say. Oh, a boss fight here? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, that has definitely killed me at least once.
can get rid of this thing. Not taking damage inside of that. Holy crap. Oh, he's still attacking. There was an achievement to die right after I killed the boss, but... Yes, it's that one. Apotheosis? I think not. Okay. Um, healing area? Yeah, probably. Attack speed, base health. They're all good things. What's on the... What's in the Aporium? What's... What's in the next area? The land of the ancients? Is this not where we started? We have unlocked the tech hunter. Eat. Damage, holy. Uh, I guess we'll take argument now. Again, arguing with the game. We are arguing. We're going to argue with the tech as the tech hunter. We're going to argue the robots to death. Um, uh, I don't know. Standing there. is the Dawnbreaker, I wonder. <laughs> All right, the right click has proven to be pretty useful once you get your damage be high enough. Duo? Duo, I guess. Um, or base health a hundred percent. A hundred percent, because I'm pretty sure that's the only way we die right now, is getting just, like, insta-nuked to death. We have so much healing and so much damage. Sometimes I wonder how I miss those, those attacks. When it's got, like, an extra big area, and I just, like... Completely with it. Kill all robots. Like opposite vendor. Thirty percent more damage inside the area. I mean, it's a pretty big area. You can drop it and then like double tap, right click for like a big behemoth's crest. Kind of samey here. Kill them all. Okay, hopefully this has a bunch of enemies quickly, and it's not like the first time you go through this where it's like very much the same. It does seem to be a kettlebell. Hence the pushback enemies, okay. Forge? No. 
Wait. Um. I guess the first forge is probably better than the first than the second duo. Maybe. Only 44 more enemies. They just like all come at me at once. I think I can handle it. Are, are about none of them. How about zero of them come at me at once? Jeez. Okay, how about not all of them come at me at once? That was bad. But at least not the not the bombers. Those guys look like they're supposed to alert King Megatork, not blow up in my face. Um, I guess attack speed. With those options that we were given. Sprint our way over to the next one. The single enemy. because he cannot move. <laughs> Back down to the quarry. Yeah. These runs, runs can kind of get pretty long, eh? 45 minutes already. Repeating the same zone. I mean, obviously you could do it faster, but like... A little questionable. We'll see. Charge totems. Give me the second hollow talisman. Probably going to die to the stupid totem. Little bomber men are brutal. I just don't know about the whole splitting enemy thing. I know what that does. It's hard to say. Because the the blade beam definitely splits enemies, like splits them in half. Hey, we got a nice start. Heels. Spirits emerge. Eh. What if I don't believe in spirits? If I don't believe they can't hurt me. Pretty sure that's how it works. Or max HP. I did not mean to dash out of the totem. And yep, I yeah, I keep wanting to do it for some reason. All right, damage boost. Be careful.
keep firing away and dashing around. I think the good strat. The prince. The prince has returned. Is he any different? Or is he the same? Same print. Ow. Seems like he's a bigger victim. I say, as I am quickly humbled. Goodness. I'm gonna get all the enemies here. That's eh, fine. Warium. It's gonna take me back to the same area. It did take me back to the same area. That's weird. I don't know. How do you get back to the other place? Does it just cycle forever? I don't know. Uh, let's take attack speed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit the main menu. Um, I believe you can continue. I can join start run private. Uh, I think I can continue. I don't know if I just killed the run or not, <laughs> but I think you can go uh, find Dawnbreaker pass total 60 in that. Play Tech Hunter. Uh, I thought I could return. I don't know if that is how that works or not. On the edge in Furion. You've unlocked it. Um, But yeah, I didn't have like another hour to go to do a run here. So that's kind of weird. I'm not sure. Maybe you can't go back. There wasn't a warning of like your run will be over. So I thought that maybe you could continue a run. But I might be thinking of a different game because I've been playing a bunch of games and I definitely realize now that I am. What does this guy do? Killing me has a chance to drop a random modifier. Shotgun, grenades, leave a trail. He's cable with gold. Orbital fire. Okay, cool. All right, we'll check him out. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube jazz. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I don't like how it just like recycled the same thing and I don't I don't know what the hell the Dawnbreaker is, but yeah. Anyways, you all have a great day. I'll see you next time. Jeff out. Bye.